again the primary the primary reason why i'm making this video is i want to show you o of one approach with the easiest way cool. because o of login approach we had already seen in this video also which is similar it's it simply says that we are given num water bottles as you can see i will have 15 full water bottles and then what exchange value says is you can give me four empty water bottles and like if you give me four empty water bottles i will give you one full water bottle so ultimately ultimately in the end how many full water bottles i can drink so what can happen in this case as you can see that i have 15 water bottles i will drink all 15 so far i have drunk 15 water bottles now i have received 15 empty water bottles i know for four empty i will receive one full four empty one full four empty one full so now at this point of time i have three full water bottles and three empty water bottles again i will drink all full water bottles so i have again drunk all full water bottles i have received three empty water bottles and again three empty are as it is here now i know that for the exchange of four empty water bottles I, I will receive one full water bottle again i will take four empty water bottles i will get one full water, water bottle these two empty will remain as it is because i don't have sufficient empty water bottle to exchange for one full water bottle then then uh, i will again drink this one empty one full water bottle ultimately uh, it will give me one empty and these two empty are already there i don't have a sufficient number of empty water bottles so as to continue my process thus my answer will be 19 15 plus 4 is 19 so you realize one thing very sure that in you will do exact same stuff as what as what we did try run right now you will drink all full water bottles so so far your answer is num water bottles let's say i will represent this as n b i'll represent this as n e right so you will drink all full water bottles in the very beginning again your answer says how many water bottles you can drink you drank all full water bottles now now you will have these these nb number of empty water bottles as you can see you will have nb number of empty water bottles but you can continue your process provided number of empty water bottles number of empty water bottles should be more than or equal to your exchange value so you will continue again you will continue your process considering your number of empty water because right now again right now when you have consumed all full water bottles these nb says i will have 15 empty water bottles so right now you are only working on empty water bottles so if your number of empty water bottles if it is more than equal to your exchange value then only you can continue the process now when i say i continue the process i mean i will find out out of these 15 empty water bottles how many full water bottles i can achieve so i will simply say that number of full water bottles i can achieve will be nb by any as you can see 15 by 4 is 3 15 by 4 is 3 so i will be i will be able to achieve three full water bottles okay full water bottles i'm able to achieve and all these full water bottles i will again consume and make it and make them empty so i'll make them empty again i'm again answer says that you are consuming all these full water bottles and i'm consuming all these full water bottles and making them empty now these full water bottles have become empty so you have full number of empty water bottles and also there were some remaining empty water bottles also, also right yeah so remaining remaining water bottles which was not converted to full water bottle was nb mod ne as you can see 15 mod 4 will be 3 so this remaining says 15 mod 4 is 3 and then full water bottle which i have converted to full r will be 15 by 4 which is 3 again i consumed all full water bottles and thus put it in my answer i consumed it after consuming these full have also now become empty so now what is your new bottle bottle count what is your num water bottle count again remember your num water bottle said empty number of water bottles at this point of time so it simply says that your num water bottle count will be nothing but full water bottle count plus remaining water bottle count again this full is after this point this full has now become empty this remaining is already empty number of water bottles 
and thus keep on repeating this process right as you can see at every point of time you are doing one thing again if i if if i remove this nb if i remove this like if i remove this full here and replace it with nb again just so as to make sure the complexity part so it will be nb itself or i can replace it with nb plus is equals to remaining so you realized nb was a number in the very beginning given to us every time my number nb is being reduced or i should say is being divided by a value n e and thus i am simply adding it some value onto it and then continuing the process so roughly my nb nb number is divided by n e again and again so complexity will be log of nb or just to move so you can say to the base n e because you are dividing by n e again and again and this is your time complexity for this approach and again this is simply the replication of what you saw also so if let's say we had continued it like if let's say we had continued this specific process so what would have happened uh, again let's keep it as full only just for your more understanding so it will be n b is equals to full plus remaining then uh, my answer was in the very beginning 15 here the answer was increased to 3 and then my full was a 3 remaining was a 3 so my n b is now a 6 my n b is now a 6 as you can see it is n b 6 again remaining will be 2 which is 6 more 4 will be 2 and full what what else will be nothing but 1 So again, I will increase my answer by one, answer by one, and then my n b will now become two plus one, which is three. As you can see, ultimately I have three water bottles, and thus my three is not more than equal to four. So I cannot continue this process. So I have to stop here itself. And this is your final code also. Now this exact same code we had already seen when we did water bottles too. Just slide catch. I'll highly recommend go and watch this video also. So if I show you the code, the code is exactly same as what we written. Again, uh, instead of N B and N E, I have written the exact uh, names. And just so as to make you sure that you understood the complexity part, I have also replaced my N B by the same thing which I showed you. That I replaced my full with N B again. This full replaced with N B just so as to make you sure okay, you understand the complexity part. Else, full makes more sense. Full, and this is your exact same code. Again, complexity I have understood. Now, the part for which I made this video is how will you solve it in O of one time? Which means Right now, you cannot even use this while loop. You have to come up with some formula. Now, if we look very closely, what is happening? The thing which is happening is for four empty water bottles. Again, taking the same example, for four empty water bottles, they give me one full water bottle. So, if I consider that out of all the water bottles I had, technically my three water bottles are getting lost every time every time i gain something again considering in the very beginning assume that you have consumed all 15 water bottles assume you have consumed all 15 water bottles now you have 15 empty water bottles remaining work on only on those 50 empty what 15 empty water bottles so i told that it feels like what what's it feels like what's happening is that i am basically reducing three water bottles again i wanted four water bottles to make one full water bottle so i'm reducing three water bottles and thus getting one full water bottles one full water bottle again eh, next time also it will happen the same if i have four or let's say even five let's say even eight full water bottles i will reduce three water bottles i will reduce three water bottles and thus again aryan but is it okay what if you had only one full water like one empty here yeah it is still okay why because as you would have if if you would have taken these four you would have taken this let's say if i erase this so if you had taken again i'm just trying to show you that this is also okay that ultimately what's happening is you are removing only three empty water bottles every time you are removing three empty water bottles every time from your list and why i am very easily seeing it because and why i i am only removing three and not four because every time i remove three it is ultimately saying i also used one i, I also used one empty water bottle but instead of that i received one full water bottle and again i will drink it 
So I will increase the answer every time I reduce three water bottles. I will drink the water bottle which I have got. So I will actually increase my answer by one. But simultaneously, it is replicating to this empty water bottle only. So what happened? You removed the empty water bottle. You received one full water bottle which you again made it empty, which is replicating that it is as it is. So this bottle remain as it is. It's just that your answer increased by one. Your your answer increased by one. Your answer increased by one. Cool. Next time also, you have next time also you will again remove these four three empty water bottles. Considering you will have one empty water bottle for sure, for sure, and thus you will get your again one full water bottle, and then again you will make, again make it empty, which means again increase the answer by one. So technically, what's happening is that if I have a fifteen. I am every every time I am reducing three water bottles. I am reducing three water bottles. I am reducing sorry. I am reducing only three water bottles. I am reducing three water bottles. I am reducing three water bottles. I am reducing three water bottles. And thus, I am actually getting one extra water bottle. So you will say, Aryan, uh, but uh, that doesn't seem right because if you do a fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Like fifteen, you will consume in the very beginning. Then you will have fifteen empty water bottles. If you have fifteen empty water bottles, then what's happening is that if you told us that every time you are kind of consuming only three water bottles, basically from your list of fifteen water bottles, you are actually removing three, 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 because you know that you will for sure be able to make because three is there. One will also be there. So you for sure will be able to make your four water bottle count, which will convert to full water bottle, which will again add a plus one to your answer, and then you will convert it back to empty. So you replicated this entire process. Thus, if you replicate the entire process, then you will say our answer should be fifteen by three, which is five. But answer is not twenty; it is nineteen. It is because fifteen by three when I did fifteen by three when I did. Ultimately, I am reducing three water bottles every time. So I should divide by three. That makes sense, which is nothing but saying n e minus one. But the issue is here in fifteen. It tells me, as you remember, it tells me that fifteen, 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 and then okay, this group of three, and then this group of three. There is no extra water bottle remaining, which actually was the prime reason for me to say that I can remove three water bottles easily. I can remove. Three water bottles easily only when I have one extra water bottle. So I should make sure that I will have to have to keep one extra water bottle which is occupied, which will help others to make entire full count of any. So I will I will occupy one water bottle very sure, and then I can easily say for the remaining water bottles I can repeat the entire process, and thus this should be my answer. Again, if I see. Fifteen plus fourteen uh, by three, it will be nothing but fifteen plus four, which is nineteen. Same way, if I repeat here itself, nine plus nine, nine empty water bottles, then I will make two two pair. Okay, two pair here, two pair here, two pair here, and then two pair here. So technically, I don't need because I I had this one water bottle which will help me make pairs with everyone. So I ultimately one two three. One, two, three, four. So four water bottles I will actually be able to get, and this is same way saying that nine minus one, nine minus one, and I am making a pair of two two two. So divided by three minus one, which is nothing but saying nine plus eight by two, which is nine plus four, which is thirteen, and that's your answer. Cool. So code is exactly same. N B initially number of bottles making all of them as empty. Now you have N B number of empty water bottles. You know one water bottle you will need to make pair with everyone, which means one one water bottle you will have to have to keep for sure. And then every time I am removing any minus one empty water bottles from my entire list of water bottles, and thus this is my final answer. One liner, simple math. Time and space both are actually O of one here. This is the only reason why I made this video. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. Again, this is a very good thing. This can be proved by maths, GP, and stuff, but this is not required because we can simply see by visualization that what's happening. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. Do join Discord.